and welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you are new here. Today's video is going to be 10 baby products that I purchased that I regret buying. Okay, so I am just going to throw this out there. These are just 10 products that personally didn't work for us. They may have worked well for you and your baby, but these are just 10 products that we personally didn't like ourselves. Okay guys, and I am just going to apologize in advance. Uh, obviously my son is away, so if you hear any added noises or any extra sounds going on, that is definitely him as he thinks he is a dinosaur. All right guys, so if you are interested in hearing the 10 products that I regret purchasing, then just keep on watching. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first item that I regret purchasing is the beloved Wubbanub. So my son only used the Wubbanubs for about maybe a month. We got a good month use out of these. And guys, I went out and I bought <laughs> four or five of these and these aren't cheap. They're like 16 or $17 for one of these. And like I said, I bought four or five of them and they were a total waste of money because he only liked them for a good month. And honestly, the only time that I really got use out of it was when he was about a month old, like I said, and he would be in the back seat and I couldn't find the binky. So I would just reach back there and find the monkey or the giraffe or whichever animal we had. But um, after a month old, when he was, you know, able to start like grasping things with his hands and starting to realize that he could pick up stuff and he started finding those animals and as soon as he would he wouldn't want to just suck on the end of it he wanted to play with it so he but he also wanted to you know pacify as well so he wanted to have the pacifier but he wanted to play with the woman of as well so really it was just a big waste of money for us all right guys so product number two that i regret buying is a tummy time mat so this is the bottom of ours this is the mat that it lays on and then it's got this little thing that spins uh, my son hated it he hated this plastic piece he was super uncomfortable he didn't like anything we also had a different like smaller like tummy time pillow and he didn't like that as well the only thing really that helped us most with tummy time was just laying him on his tummy and putting toys in front of his face or um, putting a mirror in front of him. He loved to look at himself and see the other baby that was in the other mirror. But yeah, the tummy time mats didn't work well for us. All right guys, so the third product that I regret purchasing. Now this may be a little bit controversial because it may work for some babies and some parents swear by it and love it. However, it did not work for us, but it is the beloved Mamaru. I will insert a picture. But my son didn't like this. Honestly, he just preferred his swing over the Mamaru way better I don't know I mean I tried everything on it I tried all the sounds the different motions the different speeds everything he just he wasn't that into it so instead of the mamaru we just stuck with our cheaper Fisher Price swing that he seemed to love so much better so the fourth product that I regret buying was water wipes and I will put a picture in because I don't have any anymore we only had one pack and I liked the wipes I don't have anything personally against them I think they're a great idea and they're nice but we personally don't need to pay five dollars for a pack of wipes when my son is okay with using any kind of Huggies wipes or any kind of Pampers wipes or anything like that so um, water wipes are pretty much a waste of time for us now my daughter on the other hand five years ago when they didn't exist she was extremely sensitive to almost everything she broke out in eczema all the time she had diaper rash constantly so having water wipes back then for a baby like her would have been great but for my other child they were just unnecessary all right i'm back i had to go lay aiden down for his nap so we are baby free now but that brings me back to number five on my list and that is buying way too many newborn clothes. So we bought so many different newborn clothes for my son and he was in newborn clothes for about a good month. But like I said in my newborn must haves video, the only things that I really put him in were the sleepers, the little outfits without feet, the little one piece outfits and then the onesies. Like that's the only thing that he wore. So. All of the cute outfits that you know the, the bow ties and all the pants they're just not functional and they just didn't work for us so that brings us to number six on my list and that is buying too many bottles ahead of time so I have these three this one this one this one 
this one. I have all of these bottles, guys, and my son refuses all of them. So I spent all this money on these bottles and they've never been used. Well, I take that back. They were tried out once and he's refused every single bottle ever since. So I spent tons of money on bottles and they're essentially pointless for us. All right, and moving on to number seven on my list is baby shoes, hats, and mittens. So we didn't use these at all. I think we put his hat on for his newborn picture in the hospital. And that was the only time we wore hats. Actually, when you leave the hospital, they recommend you don't need to put hats on babies at all, unless you're going outside. And we didn't go outside, so didn't need them. These are cute little shoes, right? Look, they're little Nikes, cute. His feet wouldn't even ever go in there. So babies, when you try to put shoes on them, their little toes just scrunch up like this and wouldn't get them on at all. So we have tons of shoes that never even got wore. And then cute little mittens. They're a good idea. They're a good thought, but they don't stay on at all. So like I said in my must haves video, the sleepers and the onesies that have the mittens on the um, sleeves are much better and more functional. These just don't work. They, they fall right off and they're just, it's pointless. You're spending more time trying to put the, the mittens back on their hands than you are actually preventing them from scratching their face. So didn't work for us. So that brings me to number eight on my list and that is buying a rock and play that does not have the automatic feature like the automatic rocking so with our next child we are going to purchase a rock and play but it's going to have the automatic rocker installed with it the one we had with aiden did not have that and it was essentially pointless because every time i would lay him in it and it wasn't moving he would figure that out and get mad and scream so we just had it just sitting behind the chair and didn't ever use it so if we're going to buy one next time it's going to have the automatic feature so that brings us to number nine on my list and that is buying too many sleeping devices for my son to sleep in so the first couple weeks of his life he did not want to be put down he only wanted to sleep on mommy's chest and that was it so we were sleep deprived we were desperate we bought several different things or items for him to lay in and try to get some sleep and none of them worked so the first thing we bought was a rock and play and I was set like set on that he was gonna sleep in it everything was gonna be great because five years ago that's what my daughter slept in and you know I wasn't uneducated back then and that's just how it worked and I was ready prepared for him to sleep in the rock and play so I had everything set well I did some research this time around and found out that rock and plays are one of the main causes of positional asphyxiation and if you are unfamiliar with positional asphyxiation basically that is when babies are at an incline and their chin goes to their chest and that just closes off their airway and they aren't able to breathe by themselves so that scared the crap out of me and I basically took our rock and play and put it in the closet and never touched it ever ever again so that was that um, we did buy a bassinet um, by your bed sleepers. It was by Swaddle Mate. We bought that. It was like a 10 degree incline. It wasn't the, the 40 degree incline that the rock and plays are. And we tried that one out and he didn't like that at all. <laughs> and then we bought, we had a pack and play and it was just so stiff and so hard, the bassinet part of it. And he just, he wouldn't have anything to do with that either. So we spent all this money on tons of different sleeping devices and Next time around, I'm just gonna either go with my Docatot, found that one, or I'm just going to put him or her in the crib because my son sleeps great in his crib now and we have no problems. My 10th item on my list is going to be a glider for my son's room. So we bought a glider thinking that I would be up in the middle of the night nursing and I would get up and I would rock him back to sleep and everything would be great. Honestly, I used it maybe a couple of times and never used it ever again. I spent most of the time rocking my son in our big rocking reclining chair. 
Okay guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. They keep telling me stay on the low.